Well, East and West have a common drive to fix our healthcare system. Joining me are two people who are heading the Healthcare Innovation Working Group, Premier Bradwell of Saskatchewan, Premier Robert Giz of Prince Edward Island, a tiny perfect province on the East Coast. Love them both. Okay, welcome to the show, both of you. Thanks, Thanks very much. Here's, here's the way it was described. Develop, you're going to develop a collaborative process among the provinces and territories for healthcare transformation to help ensure sustainability of healthcare services. Premier Giz, what does that mean in English? <laughs> in English, essentially what that means is that, you know, for the last 40 or 50 years, we've been running 13 distinctive healthcare systems in the country without working together. Whether or not it's around human resources development, scope of practice, clinical practices, any of these things, we haven't been, uh, you know, trying to collaborate in terms of what we've been delivering on. In other words, the care you were getting in Prince Edward Island may be different in Saskatchewan. We may be doing something better than Saskatchewan and vice versa. This is about the provinces getting together and taking control of the agenda to say we want to start to work together to improve health services for Canadians at a better cost-effective rate. Isn't equal money the great equalizer, Premier Wall? Not always. Not always. And in fact, we're going to explore that. Some provinces are pursuing some innovations in terms of delivery that are actually lower cost. Nova Scotia deploys nurses in emergency rooms very effectively. We think nurse practitioner scope of practice can increase in our province to help maintain rural facilities, especially as, as we're working to train more nurse practitioners. And actually, that's a big part of this work. So, but rather than finance ministers or, or premiers or treasury boards across the country make these decisions with which might be in the name of austerity instead of the name of better health care, we need to hear from the professionals. So tonight, we start. We're going to meet with the doctors, uh, the CMA and the CNA. We need them to be a part of this process. If we're prescribing uh, the best practices that we can use across the country and improvements to scope of practice that help us deliver better care, hopefully more effectively, we need to hear from them. What about the big guy whose office is right above me here named Stephen Harper? Uh, can you play do a better health care system without the feds being more aggressive aggressively involved in the process? Well, when you really uh, look at the situation with health care, the provinces run the day-to-day -day activities of health care in the country. That's your constitutional obligation. It's our constitutional mm -hmm. obligation. So, you know, the feds are involved with funding. We're going to have our debates with the feds. This is totally separate of what the federal government does. This is what we do as provincial governments in delivering uh, health care uh, across the country, regardless of how much money you have. So Saskatchewan, yes, they're doing better than Prince Edward Island and other provinces. But the issues that we're dealing with and the problems we're dealing with around aging populations and different demographics and new technologies, all provinces are grappling with that. So it's about us all working together to deliver better health care to Canadians. Uh, what about the level of private sector involvement? Is that a part of your deliberations, Mr. Wall? Well, each province is going to make their own decisions there, I think, uh, within the Canada Health Act, because that's the law that governs the country. Uh, for us, within the Canada Health Act, we've, uh, we're utilizing more private clinics to provide more surgery within the public system so you can't plunk down to your credit card and get ahead of anybody uh, but we need to deal with a bit of a bulge a bit of a wait list and we wanted to, to deploy those resources as well and we're seeing results we're reducing wait time so I, I think that there needs to be innovation means I mean in Saskatchewan if you ask people to choose between ideology and surgery if they need it they'll choose the surgery you made a good point or I think you did Premier Wall about nurses for example and uh, and the role they play because it varies how much influence they have in say the operating theater and doctor's office what they can do issuing prescriptions or whatever shouldn't there be like a standard across Canada as to what a nurse in Canada can do for example that's exactly what we're trying to do that's what scope of practice is about is making sure that whether or not you have a doctor a nurse practitioner a nurse and even even going all the way down to, uh, you know, the pharmacist. Can the pharmacist be doing a better job at perhaps helping refill prescriptions at the pharmacies? We're going to deal with all these things. But what I want to point out is this is the first time premiers have really sat down to do this. Brad and I are co-chairs. We're very happy to do it. We're going to have our first report uh, this summer, but this is something that's going to be a continuation. We're not going to solve everything in four months. It's not going to happen. But just the fact that we're starting to work together is going to help improve health care in this country. One thing that strikes me that could be done a lot better is technology, the idea of electronic records, so that if someone from Prince Edward Island goes into a hospital in Regina, they put up their card and 
their healthcare history is right there. You don't have to reinvent the wheel with all the testing over. Is that something you're looking at as well? And when the premiers made this decision in Victoria to strike this committee, and by the way, there's precedent for it. Before my time, Robert was uh, Premier of Prince Edward Island when uh, we, we, we made a lot of progress in this country on interprovincial trade, the same model, two premiers chairing the, the, the provincial ministers, and work got done and there were deliverables. But uh, on, on your point, e-health uh, is absolutely part of the innovation in healthcare we need. Uh, it is uh, more sustainable, frankly, from a financial standpoint. It can provide more timely care for people. There was a long list of things we explored as premiers to, to refer to this group. We're going to pick three. We've, we've announced them. We'll make progress on those. We'll report back to the premiers, see what they say, and then hopefully we continue on with some of these others. And I think it's got e-health has got to be a big part of it as well. Bottom line is you still want to maintain the single payer system where it's it, it's it's basically our sacred cow in Canada. You don't want to see this splinter in a two tier, right? You know, we have to abide by the Canada Health yeah. Act, but what this is about... It's flexibly interpreted, though, <laughs> in some provinces. Yeah, but what <laughs> this is about is making sure that Canadians, regardless if you live in Prince Edward Island, Newfoundland, Labrador, Saskatchewan, or British Columbia, that you can get the same level of care. Uh, and that's really what this is about. And there's different provinces that are doing things better than others. And you talked about e-health, you talked about scope of practices. All these things are going to be things that provinces are now going to work collaboratively on. Last question, I can't resist hockey team for Saskatchewan. Premier Giz says oh. he's all on side. I'm endorsing <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I appreciate it. Officially on on your show, Don. Yes. We have the endorsement of the uh, all right. uh, Premier of Prince Edward Island for a <laughs> hockey team in, uh, in Saskatchewan. And the only question I have that this all begs is, why aren't they there already? Exactly. Why aren't they? But I think in this country, if you take a look at merchandise, sports merchandise, Habs are first, Leafs are second, Saskatchewan Rough Riders are third. Wow. When wow. we get a professional sports anything, we kind of get we get jacked about it. Well, have you got a name you want to pick out for? We were talking no, about I, this before we went I've been, We've been trying to, you know, uh, tamp down the speculation a bit. So that probably not isotopes? be... Isotopes? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Premier Brad Wall and Robert Giz, thank you both for coming on.